Hello everyone, welcome back to Super Lesbian Horse RPG. Uh, the votes are in. Uh, East got seven votes and South got eight votes. Thankfully, we avoided a time paradox. Hooray! So anyway, as expected, we're going south, and that seems to be the appropriate way. Uh, and there's a random battle right here. Let's do it right now. Oh goodness gracious! Defaced Golem. Hmm. Also, some super fighting robots that really aren't that much of a threat. Nap time, super. Wait. Oh, that's right. Uh, now that Pinky sort of kind of uh, joined our team, we can apparently kiss her. Let's try it, actually. Ready! Twilight summons Pinky for moral support. Oh! Okay, that's kind of cool, actually. Or convenient. I figured that the. Uh, I kind of criticized that the fact that every pony here is uh, uh, is shipped with uh, another of the main six, but uh, gameplay wise, it is kind of a cool idea. Everyone uh, has someone they can kiss, and when that pony is not there, they lose that ability. That's kind of decent. Although Twilight is kind of cheating by the uh, uh, summoning Pinky. I mean, seriously, it'd be like if a Rainbow Dash was on our team and uh, suddenly Fluttershy wanted her to kiss her, and uh, she'd Sonic Rainbow to her. Uh, give her the kiss and then Sonic Green boom back. Uh, it'd be kind of weird like that. Also, a battle was happening at the same time, but uh, the battles in this game really aren't all that difficult. I'll be great, Frank. Time to heal. Hmm. It, it is more expensive for Twilight to have Pinky be summoned, though. That's the thing. It does give more of a percentage boost, though. So there is that. Without a neither. And also that enemy really wants to attack us. Oh, goodness gracious, really? Well, these two are gonna attack this, and uh, Twilight is gonna scorch the Tumbleweed Mage. The Tumbleweed Mage is really slow. Too slow. I wonder where we're gonna get our lightning attack. Come to think of it, is this thing weak against fire or ice? Oh, it resists fire, so it must be weak against ice. Or maybe it's strong against both uh, spells, or whatever. Hey there, Demon Spike, let's sack you. Well, well, I guess I'll be able to test my theory right now. Are you weak against Frost, Defaced Golem? Nope, he's not. He's, he resists all types of magics. Oh, goodness gracious. Stupid Tumbleweed Mage. Attack aggressively! Deface Golem does have a huge attack power, as should be expected from a beast his size. I wonder if he drops anything. Hmm. That's kind of my, one of my worries about this game. It's probably got random drops that uh, can only be gotten through rare circumstances, and uh, every time you don't get it, you have to... Really? Can't get that? These obelisks are really making me nervous. What are these things even doing out here? Maybe they were left here by some ancient Ferusian civilization. Is this what ancient nerd lords did for fun before cool stuff like video games and going faster embedded? They just spent all day chiseling creepy eyeball rocks and sticking them in front of Pats. E yep. Also, Fennekin, uh, not Rainbow Dash, and an eyeball on top of this door. Let's go inside! Hmm. And let's save on file number 5 before I forget. Don't want to accidentally overwrite one of my save files. A button? Let's press the heck out of it! I wonder if that did anything. It probably did. Hmm, but it's not very obvious. It's not immediate, immediately obvious what it did. Ah, oh, that's what it did. It summoned uh, not Rainbow Dash and Fennekin. Can I push these things? Yes, I can, and I push them super slowly. Ah, oh, jeez. This is gonna take some time. I can almost immediately guess what the pu puzzle uh, here is, though. Seriously, this this like a uh, Ocarina of Time, and uh, how uh, the box the boxes that the Link had to push uh, all went to like one third of a. Uh, square every time he pushed them. Uh, Majora's Mask was a huge improvement over that because uh, 
it made it that so that Link uh, usually pushed those boxes uh, an entire square at once. Even though he was completely small at all times. Hey, this is Whitehawk complete dis discussing about completely random things. Puzzle solved! Oh, and all the things are gone now, too. Great, that means we can go back all the way here and get that church desk. Because that's what's important right now. Getting that treasure chest. And getting followed by that monster behind us. I don't know what's with all the enemies here. Ah, uh, really these two? Well, I'm gonna burn the mummy. In the meantime. Ready! Sick burn. And yeah, the mummy is weak against fire, obviously. Fluttershy is good at dodging. Miss? Ah, oh, really? Also, the burn effect uh, quickly uh, reduces our HP every every turn, basically. Found an asteroid belt? What is that? An equipment. This belt may not be scientifically accurate, but it's cute. Amplifies magical abilities. So, Twilight, uh... Ah, it's an accessory. Oh, wow, that's... Yeah, that, you should be a lot more powerful now, Twilight. You better be at the very least, because you're so far you seems to be She seems to be the weakest of the party members. Can't heal, can't take a hit, and her magic uh, occasionally gets blocked. Uh yeah, just attack this thing and scorch the tumbleweed mage. Funky artifact performs a breakdance! Yeah, when the funky artifact uh, does a status boost effect, uh, it affects all the enemies. That's kind of interesting. It's too bad it takes uh, one of its turns to do it, because uh, I killed the guy before he can actually take advantage of it. Oh look, I leveled up, that's nice! Ah, new technique, uh, we got lightning kick. And multi-scorch! Rad! Now we can attack enemies all at the same time. Maybe Twilight's not so weak now. Seriously, she's, she's an alicorn, she should be like super overpowered right now. Forget gameplay, uh, story-wise she should be super overpowered. Also, going to the right here. Mm, doesn't seem to be anything here. Anything interesting, anyway. Super fighting robot appears! Attack aggressively! Kill instantly, in one kick! Um, Come to think of it, are we on the other side? This area is huge. Can we go here? Yes, we can. And it doesn't change anything. Oh, actually, no. I think we're back. Yeah, we're back at the entrance. Okay, in that case, I'll go inside the building uh, down south there. Because that's probably where we're supposed to go. If there's any funny events I'll miss out on by doing that uh, other event first, then... Uh, too bad. Also, I'm going to demonstrate a new... Uh, oh, lightning kick affects all foes. And Multi Scorch obviously affects all foes too. Ready! Rainbow uses Lightning Kick! It's the weakness of that thing. Uh, I don't really want the Malcontent Mummy to have super high attack power. Uh, we won't really get to see uh, how powerful Multi Scorch does. Well, whatever. No, Flourish Eye seems kind of weak in retrospect. And there is another treasure chest we can get here. Yeah, there's lots of optional stuff we'll be able to get when we get that uh, rope that we can uh, perhaps use later. Hmm, can we go through here? Yes, we can. And I figured there'd be a random treasure chest. Found Pony Tears. And a super fighting robot uh, that is probably supposed to be defending this thing all along. Too bad it's probably not doing a very good job at it. Considering I took it from it. It being the Pony Tears and it being it. Ignoring you. Dang it. The miseries of running fast. Gotta go fast. Really? That monster completely blocked my path. It really wanted to fight us. Pop and lock. 
too bad you're all alone, buddy. You won't have a chance to take advantage of your powered up status. Uh, yeah, powered up status. And I think we're back here. Yes! So now let's go inside. And save just before going. Yeah, I figured. The Neon Labyrinth? That is kind of weird. Actually, let's ignore Applejack for now. This cubitane kind of smells like pizza for some reason. Nice comment, Rainbow Dash. Flushai, what are you doing? Applejack is right over there. Ah, <laughs> uh, really? Well, Rainbow Dash apparently has more uh, feelings than both uh, Flushai and Twilight over Applejack, so let's go and talk to her. Applejack! Howdy, Fluttershy. I see you brought Twy and Rainbow with you, too. What brings y'all around these parts? We've been looking all over for you. Pardon? Applejack, you've been missing for hours. Freddy's pretty worried about you, so he asked us to look for you while we're out on our adventure. Oh, it's a rare sent you, huh? Shucks, I'm awfully sorry about making y'all worry, but I'm okay. I'm just sitting here in this peculiar dumpling type place. I am glad y'all showed up, though. What are you doing in here anyway, AJ? Did your family and Rarity kick you out? Did you build this dungeon out of spite because everyone you love has kicked you out? Are you on the lamb? You can tell me, AJ, I'm not a narc like Princess Sparkle over here. Dashy, I think you might be getting a little bit carried away with this. I'm just hungry for the fruit or whatever. It's nothing like that, Rainbow. I was just out delivering some apples to Pinky when I saw a couple of strange creatures heading towards this here dungeon. AJ, you don't have to lie, we're all friends here. Can we all agree to ignore her for a minute? No. I already managed to take care of the monsters in this room on my own, but... Well, they blocked the entrance after I got in here, so I couldn't leave. And I was getting mighty worried until you three showed up. How are you all big time? You were scared? Applejack, you're probably the bravest pony we know. Hey, what about me? I'm pretty brave too. Rainbow, the other day you almost had a panic attack after Mr. Snakey P. Snakington, Esquire, snuck up on you in my cottage. That was just one time. It's happened 37 times this year. I want a recount. Why? Have us two been like this the whole time y'all been out today? Pretty much. So AJ, want us to help you find out what's going on around here? We're looking for someone who should have some answers. Sounds good to me. Okay, great. Hey lovebirds, Applejack's coming with us. Let's check out this dungeon. Applejack joined your party as the fourth wheel. The party is now officially a car. Alright, here we go. Let's see how Applejack is actually. Uh, she's kind of a bit under leveled, and she's also a tree tree ticker, tree tree kicker, tree ticker. Also, she has a lasso ability. Lasso an enemy to prevent them from moving for three to four five turns, huh? But it has a twenty percent chance of failing. Hmm. Does Applejack stop moving for three to five turns too? Well, I guess it doesn't matter if you have a full party, but uh, still. Da, 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 da. Also, what equipment does she have? Nothing. She has absolutely nothing. So put the saddle on and put some galoshes on too. Also, she can't put the training band on or the beret. I am sad. So we have a spare training montage band, so she should be able to equip it. Maybe she can put the anti-negativity helmet. Nope. Well, in that case, I'm leaving the fashionable beret on uh, Rainbow. Uh, yeah, Rainbow Dash. Meanwhile, uh, Flush Knight will put the anti-negativity helmet and a saddle and yeah I think it'll be it is this a door that's one weird door whatever it is it looks like it's blocking the path I can see something on the other side I've been staring at that thing for a while now trying to make a heads or tails of it looks like there's a picture of a key on it I reckon we probably need to find some key of, to get some kind of key to get through but there's a key somewhere else in here. Of course, a lock and key system. That's much more interesting than the not near pad. Why didn't I think of that? Let's bail before Twilight gets any other horrifying ideas. Yep, let, let us bail. Can we do something with this? Hold on, y'all. Let me make a bridge. Oh, yeah. Now we have bridges. All thanks courtesy of Applejack. We can't just like fly over. We no, we have to take a uh, AJ's rope or one of her ropes and uh, make a bridge. 
every time. Oh, actually, uh... Apple Bloom? Howdy, sis. Welcome to Kitty Mark Crusader Sundries. What can I get you for today? How about you give me an explanation? What the hell you're all doing all the way out here in Ferris? You could have gotten yourselves killed! Don't worry, we're just trying to keep our shopkeeping cutie marks. Or better, get our shopkeeping cutie marks. Nine dangerous. They got Pinky the Brain Demi here. Come on, we're going home. AJ, I hate to burst your bubble, but uh, we kind of need them here. I mean, without them, we'd have to walk all the way back to town to stock up on potions and stuff. Rainbow, are you out of your mind? Just because they're giving us useful goods and services doesn't mean we can't let three children put themselves in danger. We're not in danger. We're perfectly... We're perfectly safe in this cave. Actually, Sweetie Bill's right. The desert monsters can't seem to enter this cave. Maybe they're afraid? Okay, fine. Y'all can stay. But only for the afternoon. Thanks, Applejack. Okay, can, uh... Actually, no. The... Applejack... Apparently she can put pants on, but uh, they don't seem to be... No, she probably has a saddle on it. That's really better. I uh, guess I'll buy one more bat saddle for... Rainbow and yep, pretty much. Uh, paint. Whip. There we go. And one iron horseshoes for Applejack. Oh yeah. Hmm. No, 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 not that I think about it. Shouldn't Applejack be wearing a hat? It'd be kind of it'd be kind of cool if uh, like when Applejack joined our party, she already had a hat on. But so she always she's always wearing a hat, you know? That'd be kind of cool. It's one of those things that really like uh, improve the immersion aspect of uh, the game. Also, full heal. Let's get some treasure chests. And attack an enemy. Uh. Crush Eye Guards, Rainbow Guards, Twilight Guards, and Applejack will use her lasso. Ready! Twilight Guards, Flush Eye Guards. Tumbleweed Mage has been lassoed! That means he's stopped for three turns. Meanwhile, Applejack will kick the crap out of it. Shit! Eh, it doesn't seem to be that bad. Let's just attack all that together now. Oh yeah! I kicked so many things. Rad. Just make the bridge. Thank you. And found another massive diamond. That means we can go all the way back to that forest uh, where Bab Seed was in and get one of her things if we really wanted to. Uh, but for the sake of saving you guys time, I'm going to continue down here first instead. And all the enemies are trying to follow me. But now they can't because we changed the... Uh, Got a tree screen transition. Not a tree transition. <laughs> okay, what's over here? Can we get anything over here before moving on with the plot? Can't go over there. Hmm, there's a cave here. Hmm, a dungeon, apparently. I have absolutely no idea what this is. Hmm. Probably a place where Jarvis is hiding in. I think his name is Jarvis. It has been like three videos to me since I've last seen the guy. Well, actually, no, four videos for me because the very first video was split into two and such and such. And apparently this place has absolutely nothing interesting, so... Hey, what the heck? Oh no, the desert sexes is blocked! Those dang monsters must have blocked the path when we weren't looking. Why don't we go push those blocks around again? That got rid of the obelisks last time. The blocks were locked in place when we solved the puzzle. But here's an idea. Who else do we know ha who has an eye that looks like this? We all have eyes at Twilight. I'm talking about Javis. Javis, that's his name. Oh, of course. These obelisks must belong to Javis. Who is Javis? A dude with an eye. So, should we politely ask Javis if he wouldn't mind moving this obelisk so we can leave? I guess. And if it turns out he's evil and he won't let us leave, we can just blow up all of his stuff. Like last time. I like this like, second plan quite a bit. Well, the game designer decided to block us up uh, in this place right now, so we don't really, can't really do much uh, 
anything else for now, but I think there's a treasure chest that was down here that I forgot. I mean, I already got it. I probably already got it. Well, I have to make sure! Hold this torch. Hmm, apple jackets, let's get inside. Oh, we got a magic hat. Or a mage hat. Yep, that's for Twilight for sure. Doesn't really need the training montage band anymore. Lots of stuff for Twilight that makes her a more powerful wizard. Yep. Also, uh, on the subject of the Pokemon discussion, I did this Pokemon commentary I did uh, last episode. Uh, Someone uh, mentioned that uh, Applejack would uh, make a ground uh, fighting type. I actually agree with that quite a bit. And someone also said that uh, Pikachu should be Ghost, apparently. That's kind of that's kind of cool. Ghost Fairy, if I recall. I don't remember what the fairy's uh, strengths and weaknesses are. It's a new type that was introduced in Generation 6. Um, if I recall, fairy is strong against dark and psychic, I think. And it's weak against steel. Or strong against steel? I can't remember. No, I'm pretty sure it's weak against steel. Critical hit! Oh boy. Treasure. And let's get out of here and proceed with the plot. Uh, you actually don't have much time left. That's the thing. Yep, locked in place. The Neon Labyrinth. Let's go left. What's this thing? It's an enemy. Mobile Mummy appears. Uh, probably still weak against fire a bit. Rainbow attacks. Mobile Mummy attacks. Yep, weak against fire. Yeah, this has the same broken design as Help Fluttershy and friends find the treasure! Start! Can I go through here? Ah, uh, well. Well, these battles are forced. Color Wheel appears! Uh, I'm not even gonna try to guess what this thing is weak or strong against. Let's just attack aggressively. Hmm, that's pretty good defenses. Also, Fluttershy did a critical hit. Oh boy, treasure. Probably to the left, I bet. Yep. Relationship sinker appears! I'm guessing there's some kind of shipping joke about this guy too. Actually, this guy probably uh, causes the status effect single on our, one of our phonies. Because that is a thing. Rainbow forgot she's in a relationship! Oh no! Actually, no, you know what? I'm gonna have to flourish I give her the antidote. Oh, really? I only have one? That's kind of too bad now flourish I, uh, I mean rainbow dash is no longer single relationship attacks he doesn't have a very high attack power he she That's kind of hard to tell ah uh, damn now flourish I forgot she's uh, in a relationship boy my dogs are barking after that one well I'll be Oh uh, no, it, this is one of those status effects that uh, actually carry over after the battle is over. Well, I should have stocked up on more antidotes if that's the case. Let's see what happens if uh, Rainbow Dash tries to kiss Fluttershy. Also, Multi Scorch. Rainbow attempts to kiss Fluttershy. Oh, well, Flush I still got the uh, infatuation bonus, so I'm guessing, she, I'm guessing she just likes being kissed, even when she does not actually in a relationship with uh, someone else. It'd be kind of cool if uh, if the pony kissing the uh, girlfriend uh, that uh, forgot that she's in a relationship would cure that status effect, but uh, no, it's not to be. We found a key. That was uh, too hard. Really don't want to fight that guy. Probably nothing special too. Now let's go up here. Hmm. White dancing cactus. This cactus is not well. Hmm. Whoa, what is going on over there? 
Random battle. What the? <laughs> Chromatic Colossus appears. Let's attack aggressively. Its attack power is not that great. It's not bad, but uh, oh, now uh, Flesh Eye is no longer single, or she no longer thinks she's single. So I guess the that status effect doesn't last forever. That's cool. Attack aggressively. Mm, that Chromatic Colossus has a uh, huge defenses and loss of HP. How? Level up. Oh, now Flush I learned second aid. And Twilight learned multifrost. Applejack didn't learn anything. Yeehaw. Uh, second aid restores an even decent -er amount of HP to one friend. Thanks, Flush I. Oh, we're not gonna bother with that for now. Even though I could have really used it. Man, it. 20 magic points? Or, yeah, it's magic points. It's kind of expensive. Also, herbal cure. Uh, we could use uh, that to cure ourselves from the single uh, status effect in this case. Oh, a defaced bat appears! Mm, defaced? Now that I think about it, this defaced. Uh... Yeah, I think a defaced is gonna be something that's gonna happen to a lot of monsters in this uh, place. And now I understand why the. Mummy uh, looks like a, it's just a thing with a bunch of pants on. It's because uh, Jarvis is a map design, or actually no, it's Javis? Yeah, it's Javis. I keep forgetting his uh, name. And I probably didn't even say it right. Whatever. The dude's uh, map design involves uh, defacing monsters and, or copy-pasting uh, others into, uh, with pants on or something like that. Uh, that's what it seems to be like. A poster with Javis' face on it? Here, I'll read it. <clears throat> Meeting, 3 p.m. The basics of our operation will be covered, including a summary of our enemy, the miniature threat. Attendance is mandatory. That was a pretty good Javis impression. Or Javis. It hurts my throat if I talk like that for too long. Well, I reckon that meeting will have the answers y'all looking for, huh? Hopefully, we better find that meeting. Also, monster, leave us alone for now. Okay, now we can fight. on here yes we can and there's two treasure chests what about mummy and chromatic colossus spears Info tax okay this is gonna take a while these guys uh, all have uh, lots of defenses and stuff so let's go have these guys attack this and twilight will cast multi scorch and yeah i think that'll be it Dodge, really? How did that huge thing manage to dodge Rainbow as a super fast attack? Is this huge thing weak against fire? Not really. There we go. Boy, my dogs are working after that one. Found 1000 bits and cinnamon jar. Hmm, didn't I see that before actually? Attempt to eat some cinnamon to damage all enemies in yourself. Yeah, it's uh, not even Pinkie Pie offered to bake for us back then. Seriously, three defaced bats in a row? Come on. Oh. Hmm. Let's steal these treasure chests. One bit. Oh no, not him again. Let's attack with full uh, attack power. Dive Bomb. Scorch. And Lasso. Ready! Rainbow Dive Bomb's the enemy. Applejack uses our Lasso. And twice scorches him. Aw oh, yeah. Get out of there, you relationship sinker. Another bit, another bit, 
and one bits. One bits airware. It's empty. Is that really all there is to this room? Was there like uh, some secret uh, uh, way I was supposed to open the chest that would have gone me a lot more? Who knows? And who cares too? I can just farm for bits uh, infinitely. Okay, I'm gonna end this video right here. Uh, you guys get a choice though. Shall Whitehawk try to open that door right now or... Actually, if I tr probably try to open that door right now, it's probably not gonna do anything. Because I probably have to do something with this thing too. Well, whatever. I'm gonna leave you guys to choose uh, whatever I want to do right now. So, you guys want Whitehawk to try to open this door even though he probably won't be able to right now or proceed back uh, to the back of this dungeon and uh, see what was there. Vote in the comments section below. I hope you all enjoyed this video and I hope you all have a very nice day. See you next time.